Alrighty, um, welcome to the box break. I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, but this is basically just to, you know, give evidence that the box hasn't been, you know, tampered with or resealed and to give people who are buying uh, a bit of, you know, uh, proof, I suppose, that nothing's been tampered with. Um, so basically each pack will be sealed in something with a security seal. Um, this is the box. So you can see it still has the original wizard's wrap on on it, uh, the green wing design. So all the differences from the standard blue wing box design. Um, on the bottom, it's got the one code, uh, country code as well. But unfortunately, I think, I'm pretty sure um, it's not shadowless based on what I've done when I've looked through the lead gap. Just have a look, you can't see the red um, trading card logo thing. Um, when, or you can see it and you shouldn't be able to, I, whichever one it is, um, it looks to be unlimited packs. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna crack into it. So you can see it has not been uh, touched, I guess. It's been sitting in my cupboard for the past eight years since I bought it. Um, I never thought I'd sell it, but with what's happened over the past you know, 12, 18 months, so I'm at a point where I kind of need work done on my house. So that's what I'm going for. Um, and it's actually kind of nice selling the packs because I do get to keep the box. I'm going to try and uh, slice across the back um, so I can put the wrapping back on the box and just keep it as a bit of a, a display item um, when I get some glass cabinets happening. Now my setup's a bit weird um, because I've only recently moved into this house. There's still a few things I need, such as uh, a desk. Um, so I've got the weirdest setup going ever, but it should work and give you a bit of clarity on what packs you'll be getting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, then I'm going to weigh each pack, um, and write their weight down when I seal it inside the little packet, um, which should look like one of these plastic sleeves. Um, I'm going to put the weight in there with them. Once I've weighed all of them, I'll put the top 12 heaviest top. Um, 12 heavies and 24 lights um, in piles. Um, I'm keeping three heavies for myself, an art set, um, just for something to keep from the box for myself. And the rest will be allocated into the mystery boxes. So into these bad boys. Um, so that's what they look like. That's number one. And they go up to 33 based on the 33 packs that we left after I keep three. So um, that means there'll be nine heavies, 24 lights uh, up for grabs and they'll be randomly allocated so into a number and you just, when you want to buy one, you pick that number. So some people have already reserved a number for themselves and they'll find out in the next couple of days whether they get a heavy, but if you pick a light, if you do get a light pack, you still get uh, 400, about four to $600 worth of sealed product as well from some pretty good sets. Uh, regardless whether you get a heavy or light, you also receive um, the, ma the matching art for the pack you receive. So if you get a Venusaur pack art from the base set, You'll also receive these two. Um, same goes for obviously your Charizards and your Blastoise packs. Um, now, if I open it and something dodgy inside, um, then obviously I'll refund anyone who's paid and we'll go from there. But um, yeah, I'm a little nervous and sad that it's actually been opened after all this time, but um, also excited, I guess, that we're bringing. The, the packs were from a more innocent time before COVID, so um, let's do it. And there goes any chance of selling it sealed. So committed now. Honestly, never thought I would open this, but things change. Try not to cut up the box too much. Not that it matters on the bottom anymore. Um, now, the reason I'm doing, doing it this way is just, like I said earlier, I do want to keep the wrapping just so I can put it over the top of the box for display purposes for myself, not for any one of those resealing type reasons that you see floating around on Instagram. All right. Let me 
trying to do this carefully so if it's taking a little while, guys. Um, if you have stumbled across this video and you're just curious, I'm not actually opening any packets today. I'm just taking the packs out of the, um, out of the box and weighing them. Whew. There's always that one floating pack on top from the old old ones. I could never get it, no matter how much I kind of tried to shuffle it around, I could never get it to sit back in its spot uh, to see underneath, um, to see if there was anything had been, you know, done to the insides. So there's our packs inside. Everything's looking okay so far. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking them out one at a time. Uh, I'll be weighing them, writing the weight down and sealing them into a bag with a security seal as well. All right. Now, I'm, I'm actually trying to keep this not bent as well, just for my own, um, so I can display it like that. So I'm sorry, it's not uh, looking like a, oh, you know what, let's just do it, hey. I'm gonna see it like it's meant to be. Right, that's awesome. My plan was to sell this sealed, um, but my buyers kept falling through, so now I actually get to open it, which I'm actually really happy with. Um, all right, it all looks above board, as far as I can tell. The seller I bought this from eight years ago was on eBay. Um, he's a he's still selling things. He's had you know thousands of of sales, all Pokemon related. So he's um, a legit seller. Um, let me just get my pen ready. Sorry, I shouldn't have taken off camera. I apologize. Um, all right, so there's that Blastoise pack. Um, so first weight is ooh, 21 on the dual 21.1. So it is possible that that's a heavy. Um, it really depends on all the other weights because it depends on the print that comes out of it. Um, you can get it, it, it whenever people sell individual packs as heavies and lights. You don't truly like. There's no guarantee that it's a heavy unless you know what box it came from because the print uh, 21 might be really heavy for a certain box, but 21 might be not as heavy in other prints just based on the ink and everything like that. So first one is 21.1 grams. Now, I was going to try them in these, um, these sleeves first because they're a better fit, but I'm not sure if it's going to seal properly. So I've got some bigger ones as well. I've also got these. So the booster, the Tarot Booster Sleeves, which I use for my first edition packs as well. Um, I don't know if I, I, it almost feels like a show of music in the background, but you know, I'm not a YouTuber streamer. All right, so in its sleeve, into this one now. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. Oh, that's a pain. The, the, it's just a bit too tall for these packs that I bought. I could only find, I was scrambling to find ones that would actually fit it. So we're just gonna have to go with um, the bigger ones, which is okay, that's fine. They're going into a box anyway with plenty of um, padding. So first one in. I really should have done a test run of how this process is going to work, but um, that's all right, this isn't for entertainment. But if you're entertained, then you are <laughs> welcome. All right. So that's how it's gonna work. First one sealed. I'm gonna grab a security sealed tab and seal it over the seal. So then, look, it's not foolproof, I suppose, but basically this, the 21 point, ah, and you know what? I forgot to put this in, so I've got to do that up the top, at least so I can tell what it is. Um, so yeah, there's your code number. So one, three, three, four, three, three, five, 21.1 grams. So I'm just going to put that to the side and go for our next one. Uh, next one, Charizard art. So wait, that's what we're going to do first. So I'm going to push this back a little. 21.18. So it looks to be, look, probably heavy. 
again, won't know until we have weighed all of them to see where it falls. Now again, well not again, I haven't actually said it yet, but with the weights, um, just because it's in the top 12 heavy does not guarantee, um, does not guarantee a hollow. It could be the 10th heaviest, but you just get bad luck and you, you get a lot. Um, whereas like the, you know, 13th or 14th heaviest is technically class of the light, but that might still be a holographic card. The print is, you know, never, con it's never going to be consistent box to box. So, um, that's just how it is, unfortunately. But look, if, um, if you get one and it's class of the heavy and you don't get a hollow, just, um, knock yell out and I'll make it up to you somehow. I know this video is going to go for a while, um, so look, it's only more a reference point for those who are purchasing. Um, it's not the most entertaining vision ever. There's no no pulls or anything going on, so apologies. But also, that's you know, I'm sure this video will probably get like 20 views at most. Alrighty, and the Charizard 21 point. 18 grams is one three three four three three four and next one now I'm sure I think that it should be 12 of, of each art so 36 packs and one third each for each art so as you've been saw first being saw out is 21.19 I'm just gonna make sure that that happens again. 21.18. Okay, 21.18. There's always going to be you know, a little bit of variance in the, the, the decimal, the final decimals, based depending on your um, scale. But um, as long as we're using the same scale for all of this, so it, it will be fine in terms of ranking them from for heavies and lights. I should put the boost of sleeves a bit closer. If you're wondering what the Bristol sleeves are, um, just tarot, tarot card sleeves. Uh, Ultra Pro, I think, makes some, but any any will fit the boosters pretty well. I've got all my first edition pack collection, my language collection, all have these sleeves on them that fit pretty well. And then they're inside a, a hard plastic acrylic case. Uh, what do I need next? This is the most boring stream of an op of a booster box opening ever. Like I'm, I'm doing it. So that that tells you something. Another twenty one point. That was the exact same weight as the last one. So it's interesting that it worked out that way. It's it's going to be a pain if these two are like the equal twelfth heaviest because then I don't really know what to do there. I'll probably have to just put some extras in both of them. Um, so twenty one point one eight grams. I'll get the security seal for that one. Again, um, I don't have a desk yet, so I'm kind of working in my theatre room, just on the couch with a, a setup I've got. So Venusaur at 21.18 is 1334333. See that number? Okay. All right, next one is a Charizard pack. And it weighs in at 21. Go again. 21.02, and I'll, I'll just do it three times just to make sure. Like 21.01, right, that's in between, so we'll go with that. 21.01. Now, if this video doesn't work, I'm going to lose my mind. But I've got my computer doing a backup recording to the side, just in case. Um, this is leave. I know some people wear like gloves or for this sort of thing, but honestly, I, I, I wash my hands before doing it, but the amount of stuff that can come off gloves and go onto the, um, the cards anyway, it's really, 
I don't know. And then you don't you don't really know. You can't feel how much pressure you're putting on the cards or the packs or whatever it is. So I don't I really agree with um, the whole having to use gloves. Maybe if you were a um, professional grader, you don't want to leave your mark on on a card. But you know, you'd have to be doing something wrong to be leaving marks on cards anyway. Okay, so Charizard, 21.01 grams. So again, these are all technically, like if people are selling these as individuals, you could class them as, you know, potentially heavy or whatever you, whatever it's called these days. Um, so that's, that one is 1334, 332 for that Charizard 21.01. Right, next one, Pokemon it's gonna take a while so i heard about that it's interesting like um obviously the packs have rubbed together over time so sometimes you see i don't know if you can you can tell on, on there you can see like a rub a line where it's the other this bit has been from the pack above it i've seen it on quite a few you'd see it on packs all over the place particularly the old ones have been sitting around for a while oh big heavy okay so 21.46 so it's possible that um those 21.01s might be even classed as light in this box if if you know, it's only a sample size of four, but uh, 0.46, better write that down. Um, that's 0.48, so 0.48, do it one more time just to make sure. 21.44, okay, so you can see when you don't center the packs exactly. Go to 21.46, um, it does change around. I only got, it's just a, um, you know, I spent like twenty dollars on it, maybe, off, off Amazon. The the scale, but it does the job because we're only comparing it against um, the, its own box. We're not just weighing this single pack that I've bought off eBay and selling it as heavy or light. As long as it compares fairly to all the other packs in the box, um, you know, feel free to weigh it um, when you if you if you buy one. But um, it really doesn't it. The heaviness or, or lightness doesn't really come from just the weight. It's how it compares to the other um, other packs that are in the same booster box. Oh, so twenty one point four six Venusaur pack. So um, that would definitely be classed as you know definitely heavy. It's not a, a possible chance thing. Generally, if you're buying a random pack of eBay or an individual seller painful to open um they would be like yep pretty much guaranteed hollow with that weight for base set but again it all always depends on um on the booster box it comes off comes out of and what the print is like it feels weird i'm sitting in a room by myself just talking i i, I couldn't have friends over because of covid so i'm doing this by myself i'm not live streaming it so the booster box booster pack um fitness all right 21.46 grams has a security code of 1334 331. So that's our heaviest so far. So the two Venusaurs I think have been our biggest. Oh, and the Charizard was equal with us. Okay, so we've got two at 21.18 so far. Alright, next one. Bring this a bit closer. Apologies if you can't see the numbers. Um, but I can't lift it up, otherwise that kind of goes against the whole weighing thing. Move the, it'll move the numbers. Alright, so. 21.59, wow, okay, so that's, that's yeah, we're getting, it looks like a, the, even if you're around 21, it could they could be our lights, which is interesting, because if I was like a bit of a wanker, I could, you know, sell off all those packs individually and say potential heavies or whatever, even for my 21s. Um, so I'm just, you know, hoping that people who are buying these aren't, um, flogging them off individually saying it's potentially heavy because if you're knowing what which box it comes from you've got you know that it's light or you know possible light um i forgot the weight sorry 21.6 that's it sorry about that at least i didn't seal it up before i did it i was too busy talking about the ethics of it um 21.6. But yeah, so I'm literally just sitting in a room by myself. 
all my friends, a couple of mates wanted to come over and just watch. Not that it's all that entertaining, but just kind of be there. So I went for my brother because, you know, he's been, and my mum have kind of watched me hold on to this thing for the past eight years. So this is our heaviest so far, 21.6 grams, which is, um, yeah, it's decent weight. I see a lot on eBay saying potentially heavy or even in like on Facebook and stuff that they class it as, you know, heavy packs when it's 21, 21.1, that sort of thing. When, you know, it could be, it, but you never know unless you see from, um, let's see the Brewster box that compared to all the other packs inside. Even then, it's no guarantee, when, especially when it's towards the, um, you know, that 12th heavy one or tenth, even from like 10th onwards. Okay, so that 21.6 um, plus those art is 1334, 330. Here. All right. So we're getting heavier as we go so far. All right, next one, Charizard art. I love the Charizard art, so it's easily my favorite. So basically, in it, Everyone will, will receive that if you go try that art. So I'm putting it in front of me because I'm sitting to the, to the side because my setup's just stupid. So you'll receive that if you buy, if you go to try that art. And then you get the other one, the Venusaur or the Blastoise arts. Um, if you get those ones. So I'm actually quite nervous opening this. Like I never never thought I would. So 21.02. So we're going to have a few around that mark. It's going to be interesting to see. Here we go, 21.3. I'll do it one more time. 21.1, okay, so 21.02 was our mid-range, but I'll just do it one more time to see if that's consistent. 21.02, so I'm gonna do 21.02 because, because that popped up. Um, the most out of those, 21.02. So yeah, we've got a few around that range, 21, just the, around the 21, 21 mark. So there might be a bit of a log jam Sorry, I shouldn't be doing it off camera again. Again, not a professional streamer whatsoever. You can tell that the box has had, you know, been moved around a little bit. It got was shipped from Canada. And it's obviously got a bit of shelfware on the wrapping that I've took off. Um, because the packs, the top of the packs are, you know, a little... Up, well, they look they're bent forwards, just um, like this bit here, because they've been pushed, you know, up. They might have been sitting on that side for a little while while it was in it with the previous owner. Grams. This is going to take me eight years. Back to that Six, seven, Six, 29 to go. This, is going to, this video is going to be huge. Uh, next one. I should have, look, honestly, that's why I wanted someone to do it with me so I could, you know, get them to help me up, help me with the logistical side of things like writing down the weights and that sort of stuff. Um, so what basically what I'm going to do is once I've, I'll rank them from top to top to bottom in terms of weight and then class them based on heavies and weights on that. Take three heavies for myself and the rest will be distributed randomly into the mystery boxes, which I can show you guys later from a distance. So that that Charizard like twenty one point oh two is one three three four three two nine. Next one, last toys art twenty one point one. Okay, so a little bit heavier than the last one. Twenty one point oh eight. Do it one more time. Try and get it direct center. Ooh, 21.07, okay, so the position does, that's why I'm weighing them a few different times, just to make sure, 21.09, 10, 9, 10, um, oh, look, it's settled on 10, so let's go with that. Ooh. Yeah, it's moving around. I think I'm going to go 21.09, just because it went down at 8 when I moved it to certain points, okay. So 21.09 grams, again, there's always going to be a little bit of variance, um, depending on what scale you're using. If I was rich, I would have bought, bought you know, one of those super expensive high-tech ones that go down to like thousandths and tens of thousandths of a gram. So, okay, so Blastoise is in its sleeve, 21.09. Put that in there. 
Let's see the pack. Yeah. I'm really annoyed that these packs have to be so big, but the ones I could find at a short notice were only, if I'd known in advance that I was gonna do it this way, I would've bought them online, but oh well. So if you're curious, actually, I'll just get the code happening first. Um, so Blastoise at 21.09, security sealed with 1334328. Um, if you're curious about what, buying the box, I bought it just because I wanted it basically you know, back in 2014-ish. Um, so this is the eighth year I've had it. Um, see the weight first. 21.04. Do it again, just to make sure. 21.04, 03, 04, it's fluttering. Oh, 02. Okay, so I think I've, I'm bumping the couch when, when it's doing that. So let's do it again just to be sure. 03, look, we'll go with 03 go on the safe side. Um, so yeah, I bought it off a Canadian-based um, eBay seller. Let's put a little bend in it there. I hate it when that happens, when, just for displaying purposes. Um, Canadian-based eBayer. Um, now, when I Googled his the username that sold it to me, that based on PayPal, the, his PayPal email, it was tied to a an oil company in Canada who whose name was actually attached to it. And I, when I Googled him, it, he comes up as the mayor of a of a small town in Canada. So how true that is, I don't know. I did message him and he couldn't recall selling it to me just based on how many things he would sell in the past. Um, and he couldn't pinpoint this exact sale and I don't think he really wanted to relive all the lost money he could have had. 21.03 grams for that one. Um, Yeah, I don't think he, it was a little bit of a touchy subject for him or her. I don't know it was a him um, based on the email name. Um, he didn't really want to go into detail because obviously he sold it to me for, I think it was around 700 US um, back in 2013, 14. Um, this is the worst. Um, so that, and the exchange rate was about 90 cents at the time. So it was about $800 or so. And back then I was like, what am I doing? So. It's worked out, you know, well in the long run, but yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people who, you know, regret moving things in the past, but again, no one could have predicted the way it was gonna go. So that 21.03 grams is a, is 1334327. Let me sort out. I might just stop the video just in case something goes wrong and then I'll start again from here. Um, because I just want it to make sure it saves. I'm not sure how much storage my phone's got. All right, I'm restarting it. So I'll chunk those two videos together. We don't have any intro this time, so this part should hopefully be quicker. So next, Venusaur Art, 21.07. So it looks, to, our light side right now is 21. So yeah, all of them are possible heavies if you're selling them individual, like a dodgy, um, a dodgy kind of sale. So 21.06, this one fell up. Like it, it bounces from six to eight. So look, I'm gonna go up here on the side of caution for these. Just um, look, because look, you can see all the packs anyway. So you're comparing, you know what they're compa being compared to. If anyone watches TCA Gaming and his breaks, but um, he's got it down pat, that's for sure. Uh, so 21.06 for that one. Get it into a bag. I'm try, I'll try and streamline this process and make it a bit quicker, but it's just, uh, there's only so quickly I can do it. And I also don't want to rush the packs um, and damage anything. You'd have to do something pretty drastic, I think, to damage a booster pack. Saw up twenty one point oh six grams number 
one, three, three, four, three, two, six. There's there. All right. Uh, I've got a couple of Blastoise coming up. Let's get this down here. Blastoise art. Oh, 21.6. Oh, wow. Okay, so another big heavy. Heavy one. 21.6. So that's two that are at 20 point. Two Blastoise arts at 21.6 at the minute. Um, I really should have set this up more, more efficiently. 0 0.60 grams. Please to save. I love these terrace leaves, they're awesome. Like, if I would recommend them to anyone who wants to display or at least keep their um, packs safe because, I don't know, there's a lot of different sleeves out there, but the tarot ones always do a good job. Um, so if anyone else is keen, I'm also selling a couple of um, First edition Portuguese and first edition Korean base set packs. So a bit of a niche thing, but you know, that's what I was collecting for the past 12 months was a um, first edition Charizard art base set pack in every language it was printed. The only one that is really iffy there is the Japanese because it doesn't actually have it. It's only got the one art um, for Japanese packs, but so there's, you know, Portuguese, Korean, Chinese, Dutch. Spanish, Italian, German, French, English, obviously the big one. Um, so that 21.6, I'm assuming definitely heavy, uh, is 1334321. The and another Blastoise art. See a couple of Charizards coming up in there. Um, so this Blastoise one weighs it. We ran that 21 mark, so I'm assuming that's our light, that's our base. We haven't had anything under 21, which is super interesting. So unless my uh, scale's really out, this might just be a heavy, heavier print, which is, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'd look, it's just how it is. 21.0304, settled on 04, went to 05, so it will go 04 for that one. Oh, now it's just ask because I'm touching the thing. Um, so yeah, I was um, collecting one of every language it was printed. The English one cost me a little bit compared to the others, but the others, some of them are very tricky to, top, to track down, especially individually. I had to buy a few art sets. That's why I'm selling the, the extras, the Venusaur and the Lost Wars arts, um, because I don't need them. And also I overpaid because I only wanted one of the arts. I didn't want the, the art set for those. I'd look, if I had the money, I would have gone for an art set in every language. I've gone after that, but just the English alone would be, you know, 30 grand or so plus now, depending on heavy or light as well, I suppose. But. All right, so that last so is 21.04. Seal it with the number. Oh, shouldn't do that. It's all right, that's still good. Um, Came in at one three three four three three. Sorry, one three three four three double two. Get the angle so you can see it. So that was I'm assuming in our light pack, uh, our light weight for those ones. Charles Art Art. They're all good arts. Like let's be honest, the old school arts are great. Twenty one point five. Okay, so it looks like this one's a heavy Charles Art. Nice. Twenty one point five one. Twenty one point five. Let's go with that. Cool, 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 cool. This is, look, um, it, it's a little tedious, but if you bought a pack and you just want to find it here, just to, um, you know, be sure that your pack, that yours came out of this box and compare it to all the others, it's a, just a bit of evidence for you and also to cover myself as well. Um, so 21.5 for the Charizard there. Um, but yeah, all, all, all my stuff right now is um like my pokey stuff that I've that I still have that I haven't sold or that, I've, that I'm keeping is is kind of sad. They're away in boxes and out of sight because 
since moving. I don't have any display. I'm planning on in here getting a couple of glass cabinets down the track. But for now, it just lives in, you know, at least it's safe, but yeah, it doesn't, you don't get to look at it. Okay, okay. so 21.5, weighs in, oh, sorry, number 1334323 for that one. So that was our third heaviest so far. On the Charizard. 21.11. I'll just do that again to make sure. I'm going to be close for you guys. Yep. Yeah, it moved because I um, touched the couch with my knees. 21.1, I'm happy to go with for that one. G. Sorry, whoever gets this one, but this one's a bit bent up on the bottom, so that's why it's a little tricky just to get in. Lift. Wait, put in there. And package. Um yeah, so I don't know. Like originally I had uh, honestly I had a offers for fifty and fifty-five K for this box last year when things were exploding. Um and the only reason I didn't sell it at that point was I wanted to get it authenticated or checked out by people who knew what they were looking at to make sure it wasn't tampered with and not a resealed box after um, a couple of people said, oh, the shrink wrap looks a bit loose or they were, you know, just being twats in the comments or whatever. So I just, you know, wanted to cover my own myself. So that, anyway, that 21.1 is 1334324. Yeah, so I wanted to cover myself and make sure it hadn't been, um, you know, no signs of tampering. Um, so I took it to a bunch of places, saw a bunch of as many experts as I could find in that few weeks. And while I was doing that, the people who offered, um, who had the offers, they either bought up, they put their money into other things and those dried up. And then suddenly it was very hard to find a buyer after that. So this is coming in at 21.09. I hope you can see that. Um, not the moving, it's not going to help, is it? 21.09, let's go with that. Um, and yeah, so then I had offers of, you know, 35s and things like that. But if I, was, if I, if I wasn't going to make 40, 45 out of it at that rate, I was happy to just break it so I get to keep something. Still make, you know, a decent amount of coin and make it a bit more interesting um, with the mystery boxes that I'm putting, that I've put together. I know mystery boxes aren't everyone's thing, but and there's breaks a dime a dozen. A lot, a lot of people have done base set breaks over the past you know, few months, and I w wouldn't be able to just sell unweighed packs if I wanted to keep a heavy art set for myself, which I do, because um, there's a bit of you know emo nostalgia attachment or whatever you want to call it, uh, emotional attachment to it. Um, this isn't just you know something I've, I'm flipping out of the blue that I bought you know four months ago. I bought it to keep. Um, so 21.09 Venusaur pack art. And we are, what are we at? 10 minutes, all right. And that Venusaur at 21.09 is 1334.32, oops, sorry, 325. See that? So again, on the lighter side, so I'll show you the lights and heavy spread that I've got going on on the side. I'm just kind of rank putting them in order on, to, on the table to my left. All right, those are Again, a, a lot of the packs have got this um, a bit uh, like crunched because it's been, it's obviously been left like on the box like that for too long. So it, it's sitting on the, on the top seal for a long time. So they wouldn't be PSA 10 if you put them into grading, I'm assuming. Not that I've ever graded a pack, but 
21.04. That's why PSA 10s are so sought after, I guess, because the old stuff just, you know, who knows what's happened to it. Um, who knows what travel it's been, what sun it's been exposed to, where, how it's been stored, how much the person who owned it beforehand moved it around. Um, well, I might, what am I doing? Now, if I've made any mistakes on the weights or I've miswritten them down properly, just, you know, let me know. I guess if you're still watching this, not if you haven't fallen asleep, because I probably would have. The only reason I'm still awake, watch this because I'm doing it. And also I don't want to stuff it up for people who are interested in, in buying one. I, I, I'm actually pretty keen. I've got, when I sell enough, a few more of these all along. Like I, I always plan to open a bunch of stuff in celebration, but I ended up selling a, a lot of the stuff that I was going to open um, just because I needed some cash. So 21.04 grams and the code is not a code because it doesn't want to come. 21.04, so another problem. I'm assuming these are all light, but 1334320 for that one. I'm interested to see the stats on this when I'm done to see, yeah, if I get any under 21s because at this point I'm really surprised. Um, all right, Charles, I'll let me put this closer. I forget the camera's so far away. So this is coming in at 21.15. Do it again. 21.17. I'll do it one more time just to be sure. I'll do it this way so the tech's not getting in the way. 21.15. Let's go with that one. I was talking about something before I did that. No, I, honestly, I can't remember what it was. So I'm oh, sorry if you were interested in what I had to say. If there is anyone on this planet who ever watches this video this far. But this one's really bent down the bottom too. It's interesting how some have top bends, others have more bent on the bottom. So they've obviously, it's been shifted in its previous owner. You either kept it on its side or... Um, yeah, who knows, who knows. But it doesn't look to have any resealing issues or any, like at least it was like, you know, one pack down and then suddenly it was like that, that guy who was a collectibles guru with his, his resealed packs underneath the top layer. Um, so 21.15, get a bag. This really would benefit from some music going in the background for entertainment purposes because I don't know my voice doesn't I, I hate my, I, I'm sure everyone says the same thing but voice on camera never like hear it but when I'm speaking by myself to myself it, I, 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 it's a bit sad isn't it especially when I'm opening something as you know important to me as this what am I doing Sorry. and there it is so 21.15 Charizard and the code is 1334319. So that's towards our lower end. Um, especially when we're getting 21, a couple at 21.6. So I hope the top 12 are all around that 21.4 and up, just so it's easy for the split. So Charizard Art again. There we go, 21.56. So clearly heavy. I'll wait the other way as well. 21.57, so we'll lock in 5.6 for that one. 21.5, uh, Yeah, look, um, I was hoping once upon a time that there would be shadowless in it. Then I found out, you know, obviously it wasn't shadowless once I did the, the peak test through the lid. Um, not that it's guaranteed shadowless anyway. It's always only possible shadowless out of a Brewster box, I'm pretty sure. Um, what am I doing? Um, but then I was, you know, maybe it could be a Black, a Black Star error packs or something along those lines or something weird, some weird print error. Or, you always hope that, but 99.9% you know, chance you just get your stock standard but yeah, this box was 
it has all the signs, majority of them, of being a shadow, possible shadowless packs. Oh, I just sealed it without this inside. That's all right. I'm sliding in there. So 21.05, sorry, 21.56 for that one. And security seal code is 1334318. You can see that. There we go. So another heavy. Okay, with the green sort up. Can see that? Ooh, 21.62. So, big boy. 21.62. That's a couple of heavies in a row. So it's nice to see. So check this should be 12 heavies, I suppose. It's what it should be. 12 heavies, 12 hollows. You know, so maybe there's 12 hollow Charizards. Technically it could happen, I think. I don't know. I've, the most I've seen from Brewster Box, the base set Brewster Box, I think is three. Some someone has pulled three Charizard arts. Charizards out of um out of a base set Brewster Beast Box. But then again, you get none. So Whoever does get the heavies, you know, good luck to you. I'll be opening my heavies probably one day down the track. I'm going to keep them sealed for a while. Then, you know, maybe on a rainy day down. You know, when I've got my grandkids running around. Here's a Pokemon. They won't care. Um, I don't need, I need a code. You can tell I've had a lot of experience with the, the whole YouTube pack opening breaks. And that is sealed. As one three three four three one seven. See that one for the twenty one point six two heavy. So yeah, our lights are twenty ones, which is interesting. I did not expect that. I was expecting like the twenty point sevens and the twenty point fours and things like that. But it must be a heavy print. So if you get a light pack, please don't go. You know, selling them as potential heavies. Um, why am I showing you this? You know what it looks like. <laughs> Um, 21, okay, so this is possible heavy, 21.228, 21.28, we haven't had many in that range, it's, yeah, it goes all the 21.5s and 6s, then a 20.46, 21.46, then, then this one, so it's in the heavy range right now, we'll see what happens when we finish, but for now it's in the, the heavy range, of packs we've pulled out and weighed. Jesus, like, look at that. It's pretty um bent up bottom, isn't it? I hope the cards inside are, are fine. I'm sure they will be. Uh, generally, it's only the pack. And because the hollow's a few cards deep, it's generally, look, all the old packs uh, most likely have whitening. That's why PSA 10s are so sought after because there's generally always going to, whether it's print errors or because they're 20 years old, things move, things ding, stuff happens. Um, but again, this one for me, it's been just sitting in its spot. You know, majority of the time it's been in, oh, for, for the past couple of years or so, it's been in a, in a um, acrylic box. And before that, it was just in a box. Um, as sad as that is, it wasn't displayed or anything because I didn't have any way to display it. I was living at home at the time as well. And then I moved out to a very small apartment for a while. Um, so I didn't really have any way to display. I do now, I've got the space, I just don't have the, um, I've been looking around to see if I can find the right um, glass cabinets because I want two of them, one on either side of my TV area. So 21.28, possible heavy at this stage. And that's 1334316. Um, what time are we at? 20. I might stop it again, just so we don't lose anything, just in case. And part three. Um, I really haven't put as big a dent as I wanted to in the time it's gone by, so sorry if this is so tedious, but I just want to do it properly. Uh, I'll put timestamps in the video for when the, those weights come up. I think that might help. Find your pack if you've bought one. So this is probably a light 21.01. I'll do it again just to make sure. 21.02. It's yeah, one. It's just jumping. One, two, one, two. We'll go with one because that's what's sitting up again. I've got to cut enough paper. I don't. Yeah. 21.01. Oops. Okay. 
cross that bridge when we get there. Butchering of the saying, but that's right, you get the idea. I don't know, I, I really like the old school booster box art more so than the new. I don't like the new ones uh, art wise. Um, I don't know why, the designs just don't do it for me. So 21.01 for that one. Um, I prefer the sealed look where you, those side things, the gaps in the sides, I don't know, I just don't like the non sealed look of the, the newer booster boxes themselves. I've still, I've got you know, like one or two floating around, but mainly because I love Cosmic Eclipse as a set. Um, but I'd much prefer the ETB look, and I'm, I think a lot, of, a lot of people do, that's why they're so collectible. And also, you know, there's less of them printed and everything. Uh, but they just look a lot nicer if you're going to display them than a Brewster box. They just don't display well these days. That's just me. That's, I wouldn't display a, a modern Brewster box. Maybe an Evolutions, I suppose, just because you can put it with this one if you go both. Um, 1334311 for another light. So 21.01 grams. Last boys art. Yeah, it's, again, a lot of them, a majority of them have that line going down the middle. I don't know if you can see it because of um, where this has sat for so long on top. So I'm not sure how PSA rates that with grading. Ooh, possible heavy, probable heavy, 21.51. So, yeah, I'm not sure how PSA, how, how, the, how they grade the booster packs really. I've never, I'm not big into grading to be honest. Mainly because of where we are. If it was more local, um, And just quicker and more easy. And now, I've, I've, you know, with how it is with all the closures, and, and I think I sent off two cards to get graded last year when my brother was making a submission, and I really wasn't. I, well, only one's come back so far, and I thought it was pretty minty. And I was expecting an eight plus. It was an Acropolis card holo. Um, I was expecting an eight plus, eight minimum, and it came back at a seven. And I'll look. It's still a decent grade in terms of what the card is. It's, um, but yeah, I don't know. It, sometimes you just can't tell. You can't see. Like my brother had one that came back a PSA four, and there was very like there was no whitening, no scratches, no print lines. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone's having a bad day. Um, so twenty one point five for that one, and get a security seal. Yeah, it's more just the time and also the cost as well that goes into it um, for me. Like, I know it's profitable if you're doing it right and if you know what you're doing, but these days it's just not for me. Uh, one, three, three, four, three, one, two for that one. And that one was 21.5 grams. So it is our one, two, three, four, five, that sixth, sixth heaviest one so far, currently. Um, we'll go Venusaur next. Another heavy, 21.62. So we're chopping out a few of the, the big boys um, in terms of pack weights. At least the, the, at the minute, the spread is clear. 21 point, anything around 21 grams is our lights, which, um, yeah, again, I said it earlier, but I'm a little surprised I was expecting less, but that's just, yeah, you never know what you're going to get in terms of the print ink. So be careful if you are buying a... Uh, what do you call it? A boost pack single um, off someone who's just, you know, selling a single on eBay. Um, and they're selling it as, you know, 21.1 grams and saying it's what weight is heavy because really, look at this, they, they were all like, um, I always think, I don't know, when I'm talking, I'm just talking nonsense really, but um, trying to make it more interesting if you are actually watching. So, uh, you must have literally nothing better to do. Maybe another lockdown's hit and you've found someone across this. I don't know. I, I thought I'd video it as well because it's a good record to have. People, Some people like, um, you know, having it as a historical kind of marker to see and compare to other box breaks to see what wood class is light and what classes are heavy in across the whole hobby, which is kind of cool. Those people on, like, the E4 forums. Like, I know a fair bit. I've been into it for a long time, but... There's just people who are next level. Um, and I'll leave the YouTube video to them, I think. I did contemplate starting a YouTube channel at one stage, but I just don't have the time and um, know how. So 21.1, sorry, 21.61 heavy. 
Venusaur art is 1334313. Alright, Charizard art. I'd like some more heavy Charizards, but that's another light. It's 21.05. That will definitely be on the light. 21.04, 105. It's jumping around, so we'll go with 05, but I don't think it will matter. It's going to be classed as light at this point. 21.05. I don't like it when that pen goes in the bottom. I'm going to try and straighten it out a little just so I don't want to send it to anyone with those corners turned up if I can help it. I know that's just how they are in, in the box, but yeah, I like receiving it. If I was getting it, I'd like it as flat as I can make it. You know, so maybe it will straighten out. It's kept flat and pressed down. Um, 21.5, wasn't it? 21.05. This is my Saturday night. Lockdown's ended, technically. I know I can't go to people's houses, but mate, I really, oh, I was keen to do this with people. So people watching this, you are now my people. So thank you for, honestly, more than three people hear what I just said. I'm doing well. I don't, yeah, I just don't have the YouTuber voice. I'm not hyped enough. And my girlfriend's in the next room watching um, Chicago Fire, I'm pretty sure. So. I'm trying not to ruin her, her night either. She's not into this at all. She did pull um, a Charizard out of um, Champion's Path. That's the only Charizard I pulled out of that set, so um, it's always the way, isn't it? There's always the, the amount of posts that come up that say, oh yeah, um, yeah, my, my wife or my kid picked one pack out of it and they, oh yeah, they pulled the Charizard or they pulled the hit card. Um, so 21.05, another light, I think 1334, sorry, 1334314, that one, trying to get the angle, but the lighting's a bit, I, look, honestly, the, the lighting in this place, this is probably the best, it's got the four down lights, but um, the room I wanted to do it in, I only had the one single light, and it just wasn't bright enough, I should have done it during the day, but I had landscaping outside, um, and I didn't want the background noise, uh, 21.05, so same, same, so I'm assuming another light pack for this one. 21.05, it's jumping from four to six as I'm moving the table, but that's all right. We know it's light, that's all we need, we need to know. We just need to know if it is light. Now remember, the lightest pack will also receive a Chinese base set pack as well. So they're generally anywhere from five to, to 800. The, they jump around in price a lot, the international in other languages, because there's so few of them for price points. So, so. Um, but yeah, so it's I had that before I got my first edition Chinese pack. Um, because I, I gave up on finding a first edition pack for a reasonable price. Um, but then I found one, and so I, I went for it. And then now it's an extra, so it goes into the person who gets the lightest pack. So if there's no lightest pack, if it's an even spread, I'll just have to randomise it. Um, but yeah, also I'm pretty sure um, you if you get that, you won't get the matching art that goes with it. I, I'm fairly certain I'm missing one art. So you'll get like a Pikachu one and another one. You'll get a bonus one in there, um, which isn't a bad deal. Um, I'm looking at code, a security code, security seal, whatever you call it. Alrighty, so that light 21.05 is 1334315. So into our light stack, which is getting bigger, which makes sense because, you know, two thirds is meant to be light. Um, Rinsal pack. 21.05, so another light. We're getting a few around that same mark. So this, this has got to be our bottom line. 21.06, we'll go the other way just to see what happens. 21.07, so I'm going to go 06 for that one. Um, but we've got about nine maybe left in the, in there, ish, ish. Not hundred percent. I can't see how, how many goes down, but the, the box is getting empty, which is good because I've been talking for the past hour. Oh, 0.6, wasn't it? 0.06. Oh, it's still a bit surreal that I've actually opened this thing. I never thought. Like I'm saying the same things 47 times. Just 
but um, yeah, I don't know. My vocabs are limited to the same six phrases. I'm basically a soundboard. All right, so 21 Proto 6 Venusaur art. Um, oh, what do I want to carry? Why did I run out of paper? I swear I cut enough. Mm, oh, never mind. I see it. I found the rest of them. I didn't finish cutting them. So that 21.06 is... Sorry, I pulled a little bit off there so you can see that. The gap on the corner, it's stuck on my thumb. Uh, 1334310. I'll try and get the angle so you can see it. There you go. All right, that's another light to add to the stack. Right, Charles Art. 21.05. Oh, so they're pretty consistent. Our lights are very consistent. 21.04. Consistent is good though, because then I can clearly kind of see 21.05. I'm going to go with 04 because it jumped from 3 to 4 to 5. 21.04. So yeah, consistency would make it easy so I can see the clear split. I just don't want too many in that midpoint where the, it's not a clear top 12, I guess, because then it gets a bit murky in terms of, oh yeah, here's your heavy, well, the 12th heaviest, and you end up with a light pack and you open it and you get, I don't know, you pop to Professor Oak or Clefairy Doll or Doug Trio or something. Although Doug Trio does have a low pop, I think, in terms of PSA 10s to some of the other rares. So I think he's undervalued, but everyone sees Dove Tree and they're just like, eh. Or maybe not low pop, but his price point is low compared to like a PSA Dan Charmander. There's a bazillion of them. Like everyone has Charmander. But he's more expensive than a, a rare Dove Trio. Um, just because Dove Trio is not, I don't know. He's one you swipe left to on Tinder, I guess. I guess it is a three in one. If some people aren't down for that. <laughs> So another light, 21.04 grams. And the security code for that. 1334, 1334, 309. See it? It's there-ish. Alright, another light. Um, I'm just gonna get some paper. Let me cut it. So this is the most exciting point in the video where you get to watch, I guarantee this is the first for base set booster box breaks, green wing edition, and you get to see a shopping list cut into strips. So this is what we're all here for. Um, I'm going to be selling these as unweighed, so you have a chance of getting a heavy strip of paper or a light, one of my, it doesn't, no, I'm going to stop. Um, let's move on. So, paper's cut. So, we can try and actually get this done before COVID-23 hits us. Um, last of pack art, 21, all right, heavy, 21.5, 1.52. I'll do it again. 21.51, all right, done. Good, another heavy to add to our pile of heavies, which is, yeah, it's getting there, it's getting there. But again, there's always going to be less. I'd love to just have opened this and every single one just weighed like it was an error box or something where every single pack happened to weigh 21.6 grams and they've accidentally printed, um, you know, a hollow for every pack. That's the dream. Um, or I don't know, a, maybe a, a god pack before there were god packs where they accidentally put a hollow foil sheet in the common section or something. Uh, so 21.51. I just love this box. It looks just, I don't know, something about it. Compared to, I don't, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the jungle. Like, I do like um, the jungle designs and the fossil designs of the boxes, but the sets themselves, I do like, I like fossil more than jungle. But, I don't know, this design with the reds and the yellows and the blues does it for me. Maybe it's because I actually own it, so biased. It is the only original like wizards booster box I've ever owned and the only one I will ever own as far as I'm concerned. So 21.51 21.51 21.51 21.51 21.51 
1334308. Um, the only other ones I've really, I, I wasn't a big Brewster Box person back when, when I was growing up, or even in the past five years, only recently. Got into a few, a couple of them, but not many. Um, I had a Flashfire one that I opened with my brother, two, two of them, and a Legendary Treasures one. 21.1. So fun to open. Wish I kept it sealed, but again, you can't look back and say, oh, you know, I wish I kept all my toys sealed forever. 21.1 for that one. So I'm assuming light on there. Um, 21.1 was it? 21.1. But yeah, other than that, I haven't opened any old school boost boxes. I, I reckon around, um, back in 2012-ish, just before I bought this, really, a year or two before I bought this, I bought, I was on it, just eBay, I'm like, nostalgia-ring it up a bit, and I was just buying a whole bunch of loose booster boosters. Um, so base, base set boosters. I didn't buy any jungles, but I bought some um, base set from other languages in first edition. So that's what started my kind of collecting of there. And some in non-first edition too. I've got a first edition Magneton in French. It's in good condition, but it wouldn't get a 10, maybe a 9. So that's a 21.1. But yeah, so I bought maybe 20 to 30 base set packs. Um, and obviously I opened them all. So I've just got all, I've still, I kept the wrappers, which is cool. So I've, I've got a bunch of wrappers, but um, so that's 21.1 gram Venusaur, 1334307. And there it is, sort of. Um, yeah, so I've got a ton of just open base packs. A lot of Venusaur ones, only one or two Charizards and a few Blastoise. So people obviously will get rid of their Venusaur rots back then. They were like 20 bucks, like $20 a packet. So I'm thinking, if I kept all those sealed, but you can say that about anything, kind of. Um, 21.23. Um, so there's some very clear heavies, and then some at the round of 20 point, 21.3, 21.4 mark that well, they're clearly ahead of the others by a good 0.2 of a gram. So I hope that when you open them, whoever buys them gets a hollow. Um, but yeah, so when I was buying these, it was eight years, what is it, 10 years ago now-ish, um, about 20, 50, even around $15 a pack, and I was just opening them, opening them, opening them. Looking back now, like I was lucky I got to do that just because you know, I didn't get to open any base packs as, as a kid. I came at the came in at, up to the hobby kind of. I got a theme deck and I got a few base packs, but I didn't get many base packs. I kind of was more the next, you know, jungles and fossils. I opened a lot more of and um, expeditions and all that. Sky Ridge, but, but yeah, my favourites I think were the like gym challenge ones, and because I pulled a um, rocket Zapdos. And, yeah, it's one of my favourite favorite cards, just because of that. I was down at the beach. Um, so 21.23, possible heavy at this point. I have to check it out in a sec. Um, 1334306. If you can see that on the thing. I bent the tag a little bit so you can see. I'm trying to focus that. See there, it's not perfect, but again, if you peel it off, it's going to be obvious that it's been resealed. All right, we are down to our final four. What time have we got? 19, so I'm going to stop it again. Just because, um, again, I don't want to lose the footage. All right, last portion, and this should be quicker. So we have 21.2. So again, another potential heavy. It's not much, it's only 0.2 of a gram higher. 21.2, 2, 2, 1, um, Not a huge amount higher, but that clear light pile is all around the 21.1, 2, and 3. 1.2, 1, 1 grams, 21, 2, 1, 3. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I was talking about ages ago in this video before I got sidetracked, um, what I was going to open in kind of, you know, celebration of say, making so, the sale of the box, which I never end up doing. So now I'm going to just, when I sell enough of these, I'll open, I just got a, a bunch of hidden fates and I've got some shining fates. I might open a tag team GX box, the Japanese one. Um, so that's 21.21. 21. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to opening. I opened a few matches of Spiders boxes and got two of the same girl. I can't remember her name. Um, it's about a seventy to eighty dollar card, but I just I got two of them and I was like, oh, all I wanted was the Moltres or the Snorlax or the the Slow King alternate arts or the Blaziken or any of the birds would have been great. But I got and then my next three boxes of that, I got three of those Dracozolt things, two rainbows and a full art of all the ones I could have got. It's like the worst secret rare that you could possibly pull out of that. Um, so yeah, Matchless Fighters hurt me. And I love, the, yeah, I might just buy. I really want Moltres. My brother got it out of his first booster box he opened of that. Oh. But, you know, with EV Heroes, I've kind of given up on the Japanese set. I've got an order in Limbo. 21.21 is 1334305. Um, got an order in Limbo for that with possibly getting, coming through, but we we'll baited breath on that one. I'm assuming it's probably going to get cancelled like most of the orders. 21.5, another heavy Blastoise pack. I think Blastoise has been one, two, three. Oh no, oh, it's been even spread, sorry. So 21.51, I'll just see it again because my knee was pushing the catch a little. 21.49, maybe just to make sure, sorry. If you can't see that as well, I should probably move it closer. 21.46, okay, we dropped a little bit. So that's the worry with using a cheapy, but they're all using the same time. 21.48, let's just lock that one in because it's been fluctuating a few grams either side. Oops, let's see. 21.48. So yeah, people might criticize me using a cheap scale, but I'm not selling these packs individually as perfect weights on eBay is this is 21.16 grams or anything like that. I'm selling them in comparison to each other or using the same scale. So I'm sure the lawyers won't come after me for that. This one's got that bent corner and makes it tricky to get in and keep flat, which I'm trying to do. See, it's bent up there, this bit here. So I'm trying to get it in flat so it tries to straighten itself out. I never like seeing it an OG booster pack with the bent corners, especially because a lot of people do love, especially if they're light, they like to display them. Um, and when it's got a bent corner, you're just like, really? Come on. And you get near that corner just flicked up. It's really bent in there. So whoever gets this one, you just have to um, rest it under something, maybe just the edge under a heavy something, but it, it'll come out, like as in, it'll straighten out with enough, uh, enough time. But if this is a heavy, so you're probably gonna be opening it anyway, so who cares? But I do like to keep, when I open them, I keep old stuff. I open them carefully if I can to try and um, uh, keep the packs. I don't know why. I've got a bunch of like, not a bazillion of them, but all my old packs that I thought to keep, I've kept. Um, especially if I could open them without tearing it completely. Just kind of peeling that top open, which sometimes it happens depending on how they glued it or how the factory sealed them. This is 1334304. So much easier to read on the paper. I don't know why I'm doing that from the start. So 1334304 for that heavy. Um, we are down to one, two, we're up. We have, there's another one under there. So there's four packs left. So two Charizards, a Venusaur, and a Venusaur. Twenty one point five seven five eight, so definitely heavy. Which is awesome. I always love it when the Charizard comes out on the heavy side. I'm really sorry if you can't see these numbers, um, but you should be able to hopefully make it out. I just yeah, I don't have the camera set up. Twenty one point five eight. Um, you know, if anyone wants to let Leon Hart or whoever, take your hand off, donate me a camera. I'll do some more of these with my, well, I don't have anything else that I want to open. So no, I won't be doing one of these. And also no one's watching at this point. So it doesn't matter. I could say anything and it really wouldn't impact this at all. So 21.58, um, cause let's be honest, who's going to be watching one hour and 15 minutes of me 
opening a box to take the packs out. Um, it's not even opening the cards, it's literally just weighing the packs. Um, yeah, so not the most, uh, what do you call it, attractive content, I guess, but this is more, like I said at the start, it's more for um, evidence or a reference point for people looking to make sure that their pack that they've bought is legit straight box fresh. Uh, so 21.58 heavy. So I'd love to get this if I was buying. Uh, 1334303. Yeah. Good pack. And it's actually not really, this is one of the least bent packs in terms of the, the top. So we're down the bottom now. So maybe that was the safest spot to be in the box. So the pack is in decent condition. Still would probably not get a PSA 10 purely because they can be so tight with their grading. But again, I don't know how they how strict they are on pack grading. I've never graded a pack. I've only I've I've had some graded packs in Chinese PSA ten ones first editions. Twenty one point one four try that again. Twenty one point one seven, one six let's go one six. One point one six grams. Um, yeah, so I had some Chinese. The Chinese look awesome because I'll show you. Guys, I'll show it at the end of the video. Um, the logo is in red instead of yellow, and the Koreans the same. Um, so it just yeah, it it just kind of reminds me of the um, the Australian print of the is it Jungle and Fossil both had red, which I've always really liked. I've never had, never bought any, but you know, if I saw one for the right price and I actually had money, um, I'd go for it. So at this point, I don't know. I've kind of broke the budget on my first edition pack in English last year. Right. Twenty-one point one six. Not that you need to know that. So I just told you. But yeah, the Korean and Chinese packs do look awesome, but like I said, the um the lightest pack, if there's a clear one, otherwise I'll have to just randomize it. The lightest pack will get uh, the Chinese base pack as well. So that light, uh, not light, possible, it's a possible heavy. We'll see here, I'll have to count them up. Um, one, three, three, four, three, zero, two, on that one. Um, but yeah, so if you get the lightest pack, you get the Chinese base set first, not first edition, but just base set unlimited, which I think is just about as rare as the first edition in Chinese because of how small the print was anyway. So, so the light one, 21.05 again. Yeah, the print run in, in China was not a massive one. 21.06, do it one more time. Um, compared, comparing first edition to unlimited print, 21.05, let's get that. 21.05. Yeah, so that's the And of course, I've run out of paper with one pack in there to go. So. And my voice is boring. I'm really sorry. I I'm a teacher, so I don't, I don't know how my kids don't... I guess when you've got an audience, you kind of pitch your voice a bit differently because I'm, I'm sitting in a room by myself, talking to myself. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Gets a bit old. Um, but uh, look, I hope what I talked about wasn't too irrelevant. Uh, most people are probably just going to click the um, little little tag down the bottom that shows them what time to go to in their thing to show to see each weight and each art. I don't know. I, the way I'm doing it, I wouldn't mind buying. Like it, it's all. I'm very <laughs> trying to be as open as I can for people in terms of where it's coming from, what the weights are, what exactly you're getting, what the odds are. So if you're buying mystery box, you know I'm taking three heavies, so the odds are slightly lower, not much lower, but instead of 12 heavies, there is a nine. That's why I'm doing the $400 worth of other stuff to make, you know, make it more. <laughs> there's some pretty cool stuff in it, to be honest. And there's, they're all from decent sets. There's no junk sets in there. Um, so 21.05 is 1334301. Um, so yeah, all the, all the, the, any sealed stuff is from worthwhile sets there's no you know, i don't know i like steam siege but you know people crimson invasion let's go all right last pack last pack and that's ah look okay it's got a code down the bottom that's interesting 
and it's been like smudged, so misprinted out of them, out of the um, when they were stamping them. Never seen the bottom of a box. Never will again. Twenty-one point two one. So that could be on the heavy side. Yeah, I'll count them up in a minute. Twenty-one point two one. Twenty-one point two two. I've had twenty-two point two one. That would be heavy as twenty-one point two one. Let's go with that. But I have run out of paper, so where do I put the rest of that paper? I'm just going to make sure because I've forgotten what that was. 21.23. One more time. 21.22. I love that one. 21.22. Yeah, like I was saying. Um, actually, no, scrap that. Never mind. I've already said it. So, 21.22. So, to the sleeve. I do really like these sleeves. I'm glad I stumbled across them, whatever it was. And this one's actually pretty good as well in terms of the bend that could be um, unbent, I guess, because to get it to point more straight and forwards. So 21.22, last bag, and that last code. What am I gonna do with all these security seals? I've got another page left of them. Maybe I'll send like security sealed reports home to my parents and my kids this term. Actually, they go out online, so I can't do that. Maybe I'll security seal my resignation. Get some sick of teaching. Fire up. Killing with the COVID. At least I'm getting paid. Um, 21.22 for that one. And the last code for it is... Let's just see what I'll stick it on and then read it. Oh, man, I took some off with my thumb. Um, so you can see. I'm actually take a little bit there. But if you try and peel that off, the whole thing will be ruined. So one, three, three, four, two, nine, six on that last pack, which was possible heavy. So I'm just going to put all of them back. Again, um, if you bought and it came, you would get, if you bought a mystery box, you get that. So the Generations and Evolutions box. Um, oops, sorry, I should actually show the camera. Um, you get that all right, with the Venusaur pack. Blastoise art, you get the Blastoise Charizard, you get Charizard. Plus all the other stuff, 400 bucks, 400, $600. I think it, most of it's around 400, but a couple go up a bit higher and um, plus worth of stuff if you get a light pack. So 24 light. So there's about 10 grand worth of sealed product. A couple of single cards by themselves, but most of the stuff is sealed. All right, let's get rid of these guys. They're really, you know, just the icing. Actually, keep you, because you're what we want to look at. Oh, there's that paper. Um, what time we got? 14. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just looking at the time because, you know, I don't want it to glitch out and then um, suddenly, oh, the video didn't record. That's why I've got the computer over there recording from the side, but at least it's something. So these were our heaviest packs. So we have a 21.5, so there are heavies, definite heavies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Oh wait, no, there's another heavy. Oh, that's more definite heavy, sorry, I put these in the wrong pile. So how many did I say there? Sorry, I miscounted, I forget what I counted. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be four more heavies. And it looks like there are three clear ones. And then it might be borderline. So a 20.5 Blastoise, nine. 20.5, 21.5, one Blastoise, 10. 21.46, 11. So that's the clear split because then it drops a little. So that's where it gets a bit dicey in terms of you get... Um, a pack that is quite technically in the top 12 heaviest, but it, let's say it's 12 heaviest, but it comes out a, as a non-hollow because there's not much difference between tw my, my maybe 12th, 13th and 14th. So the heaviest light one might actually be the heavy hollow. So if that happens to you, please um, just let me know. All right. And I'll 
either, I'll either chuck you some extras or I'll give you a bit of a refund because that would be, yeah, pretty brutal to not get the $400 worth of stuff and be stuck with a light pack because you've technically got a, he a heavy. Um, okay, so next heaviest, I think. So that's our, that's 11. So there should only be one more hollow in here. They're on teens, 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 20, 30, 20, 20, 20. So this is the next heaviest. All right, so 21.28 is our 12th heavy, but it's a little lower than the rest. So then it drops down at about 21.2. So this is a little heavier. So I that should hopefully be safe, but that's that's the one that I'll be most worried about. Um, yep. Anyway, let's go through the rest. Just so if someone's watching this, they might want to see the collection of, so that's 12 heavies. So 21.81, 21.21, 21.16, 21.23, so these are all around that 21.2 mark. 21.18, 21.15, and 21.22. So they're all within about 0.05 of a gram around the 21.2 mark. And this pile, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in that mid range. Then this pile is our lights, which is, um, it's, I'm really, yeah, I still can't really believe that the lights are all, no way. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking right, aren't I? It's 21, it was always classes heavy. I, I, otherwise I've been saying the wrong thing this entire video. But these are all over 21s. So I'm, unless I've got it wrong and 22 was classes heavy, I could be wrong. Maybe maybe I've just been saying the wrong thing the whole time. But apologies for that. So even, even still, you can see the 12 split. They're, probably, they're all lights, most likely. And then 21 21.05, 21.1, 21.04, 21.06, 21.05, 21.05, 21.01. So that's light, light. 21 21.04, 21.1, 21.09, 21.06, 21.04, 21.03, 21.02, 21.01, 21.01. So there's three lowest ones in terms of 21.01 being the lowest. So I'm gonna just have to randomize which one comes with the Charizard, uh, the Chinese pack as well as the bonus. So there, that's it, that's the break. So again, you know, not that interesting because it's only packs, but you know, these are the bits to come with. So you get those three come together, those three come together, and those three. So I, I really like the, the little trio, um, I was gonna, if I had money, I'd go collecting all the up pack ups that have feature all the three of these. So like the legendary collection with the three of them, the um, EX Fire Red and Leaf Green packs with one, two, three on it. And what's the other sets? There's a, there's a few more. Um, the Expeditions, I think. I think Expeditions has um, these three on it. But then most other sets, sometimes they feature Venusaur or just Charizard, but I'd only go for the sets that have all three as a display piece, really. So there's the heavies. There's the look, they're light in comparison. That's the only one. 21.28 is the the shaky one. So if you get that and you open it and it's light, um, please just make sure you video it. All right, video you op yourself opening it so you can show me um, what you get with that because if you can prove that you didn't get a hollow, I'll help you out a little bit there. So that was on there. And all our lights. So 21 grams and over, nothing under 21. Which is interesting. I was expecting lower. So just variation in prints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video there. Um, then I will video... Um, I'm just going to show you the mystery boxes just so you can see the type of things you might get. And then that'll be it. Um, if you're still watching, congratulations, you made it. Um, that's an hour and a half of some random guy you've never heard of. Um, you should see my setup, how this was, like seriously. It was jammed in this on top of my old, the box protector with a t-shirt holding it up on some books, on some boxes. And this is, this is a wall of art, which is on some boxes on my couch in my theater room. So that's where I'm thinking glass cabinet, glass cabinet. Anyway, stop there.
and I'll show you the, the mystery box contents. And that'll do it. Never gonna open one of these again, so that was sick. Thank you for watching so far. Mystery boxes. Um, so each of those watch papers, I'll flip them over, has a number in now the missing one there. And there's like there and there. Um, they're the ones I took into the other room just to show what you get. Uh, so they're in the other room, so that's why they're missing. But yeah, so these are all the different contents you can receive. So every single one has a generation and an evolutions pack to match the art you will get. There's the Chinese. Um, this is meant to be a study. It hasn't been set up yet, so you can see books and stuff all piled all over the place still. Um, because we haven't finished. We've moved in, but we're still, you know, finishing things. Um, so you got, you know, some ETBs. Building battles, shiny star Vs, a lot of different, a few different ETBs from different sets. A lot of um, shiny fates. Generally, obviously, shiny shiny fates isn't worth as much as your your top tier ones. So you get less with the big ones, and obviously more with your lesser value ETBs. So there's a couple of weird items like there's a PSA item in there, um, some sealed promo card type stuff going on in some as well. Um, but majority of, so here's just some leftovers. Um, so you've got the wee Shining Legends packs around the place. Not a huge amount, but a few of them floating through, about an ETB's worth. Um, a lot of extra generations packs with the Pikachu art, because obviously I got these out of boxes and the Pikachus don't match the base packs. So um, there's a bunch of those throughout. A um, bunch of XY Furious Fists as well. So sometimes uh, a bunch of art sets and sometimes just singles, depending on the value, and Hidden Fates art sets as well. Um, there's a couple of Jap a few Japanese ones there, something like the bo a booster box worth of matchup sliders put in. I'm thinking about putting these in there as well, because um, these are cool. These um, this is Ultra Force, a small set, but it, every single card in them is Reverse Holo. Um, so they're actually yeah, some cool looking cards in there, and the card, the big cards, are like a Dialga X EX, Palkia EX, or a Lucario EX. And they look pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind the the Dialga EX because I've given up getting my full silver one of those. But anyway, I'll leave it there because that's another two minutes of just crap. Basically, there's our mystery boxes. Um, if you get mystery box, if you if whoever picks number twenty, please bear with me because I, I forgot to print twenty. I printed thirty two and of boxes uh, labels, and I didn't print the twenty number twenty foot. I don't know why. I think I just didn't click it on when I was printing them at Kmart, because this printer wouldn't do the job as well as those ones would. Anyway, um, that is all. So thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you have any questions, yell out and um, smash that like and subscribe button to watch no more videos because I'm never uploading anything again. Have a good one. Ta.